Hello guys, good morning, welcome back sa channel natin And for this video, pag-usapan natin yung RTX 3080 by Galax Okay? Uh, and apat na unit ng 3080 mining rig And uh, of course, um, regards na rin kay client Kay Myron Alpare, maraming salamat sa tiwala for um, trusting my team to build your rig Okay? And speaking of, if you want my team to build your rig for you or DIY parts man yan or GPU lang yan nag-expand ka links down below guys and uh, yeah meron tayo Facebook page dyan so if you want a quotation uh, message my team dun sa links down below pin comment and description also we have a Shopee store so abangan nyo yan guys mas makakamura na tayo sa shipping ngayon so uh, a very welcome news para sa mga subscribers natin and sa mga suki na natin sa shop mas makakamura na tayo sa, shop, sa Shopee store natin kasi yung shipping nun uh, by uh, I think it's GNT and Gogo so yun anyway so going back um etong video na to is more of a para lang talaga kay ano kay Byron para sa'yo bro pero I'll make it available for the page na rin or, or sa YouTube para magkaroon naman ng idea yung mga bubuo pa lang okay so kung igaw ngayon December 2021 Uh, malapit na matapos yung taon and medyo nakaipon ka na if you want to dive into mining and uh, wala kang idea okay magkano ba yung gastos magkano yung kitaan gano ba katagal bago ko mabawi yung pera ko etc etc then uh, sit back and uh, watch and uh, of course like mo na rin yung video while you're at it okay so anyway guys Galax 3080 uh, mining cards this one is the LHR version okay kung uh, anong mas malakas ba sa kitaan and sa ROI Uh, Non-LHR or LHR? Okay? Non-LHR ba? You have to watch yung isang video ko na 3070 non-LHR versus 3060 Ti LHR version for for you to find out. Okay? Kasi uh, it doesn't necessarily mean na uh, ano, case-to-case basis siya. Anyway, so uh, this one is 65,000 sa shop. Pero I think we we're down to the last few units natin. If I'm not mistaken, mga... Baka tatlo, dalawa, or isang unit na lang yung natitira. So, kung napapanood mo tong video na to, uh, message our team. <coughs> Links down below. It's 65K. So, sa Lazada, may kita mo to for 73,000 sa official Galax store. Pagka pumunta ka sa mall, ewan ko lang. Baka kailangan pang bumuo ng PC to get this one. But if you can get this one for cheap or used, by all means, go ahead and do so. Just make sure you're getting it from a reputable seller. Okay? And maayos yung warranty niyan. <coughs> Um, pwede mo rin ito ilagay sa gaming PC mo or workstation PC Like what I do tapos dun mo pag minahin So maganda rin naman yung performance uh, sa Windows Anyway, so we're using HiveOS for this one um, Yung build niya is good Kasi tingnan mo naman, napakakapal okay? Parang iGame White actually, mas malaki ng konti Itong, mga, itong cooler niya, mabigat itong card na to, okay? And this one has quadruple fans okay? Hindi lang tatlo guys Hindi lang to parang i chill na joke time yung pang-apat na fan. Malaki yung pang-apat na fan nito guys na nandito. Pero di ko nilalagay. <laughs> Kasi so far okay naman yung temps. Pero kung gusto mo lang, pwede dyan o. Dyan mo ilalagay siya. So uh, very common yung design na yun for Ampere style, style cards. Yung may butas. Okay? Tagusan yung cooling. So pwede kung gusto mo. But uh, for me, I recommend just installing mga 6 or kung gusto mo talagang pagdikit-dikitin tapos naka-high RPM ka uh, na fans. 8 cards lang guys for 3080 para makahinga ng maayos yung ano mo yung uh, yung rig mo and syempre hindi rin naman kakayanin ng sobrang daming 3080 yung power supply mo eh Ma mabububog or baka yung load average mo okay for your, the CPU the motherboard your system unit which is medyo detailed eh, ano na uh, next time next time pag-usapan natin yung load average especially for my clients but anyways bottom line wag mong tadta rin ng 3080 kasi it's a very powerful card uh, may hirapan yung system unit mo. Lalo na kung uh, hindi naman ganun kataasan yung specs. And ang isa pa dyan, Jomak, eh bakit hindi na lang ano? Bakit hindi ko na lang pagpatong-patongin yung rack? So may, may reason din tayo why I don't recommend that. Yung panorin mo na lang yung review ko for the mining racks and which one I prefer. So spoiler alert, ganun yung gusto kong design. No? Para isang mining rack lang na ganyan, 40 to 50 cards na yun pwede mo i-install ng no, mga 3070, 3060 Ti kung 3080 medyo mas konti ng konti pero imagine no, sa isang rack lang na ganyan ilan yung malalagay mo so that's why ayoko nung patong-patong na rack kasi mainit yung taas nun <clears throat> anyway so i-rundown natin no? so for this one we're using the 12 slot mining rack for the A2 package 
12 slot mining uh, board. So, for this one, supported ko up to 10 cards. Kasi pag 12, baka pa may magloko-loko na yung, uh, <coughs> yung load average yung, yung CPU mo. Tapos, uh, we're using HP. 1,500 silent type. Platinum um, power supply. And we're using 12 slot breakout board na may toggle switch. So, for this one, um, I opted to use uh, 12 slot Uh, breakout boards moving forward kasi napansin ko yung mga 17 slot na users natin uh, tinatadad nila na overload yung yung mga breakout board natin sa sa load okay and syempre uh, di, hindi ko alam baka mamaya airflow lang or sobra init or baka mamaya over over overload talaga kaya nasisira pero for this one yung track record natin wala tayong nagiging problema with the 12 slot uh, breakout boards actually for my uh, personal rigs I still use the 17, 17 slot kaya lang Uh, mas ano siya eh, mas kailangan mong bantayan yung mar- mas maraming consideration for the 17 slot breakout boards kaya I ship yung current rigs natin will with uh, 12 slot breakout boards okay so anyway uh, mining rack 12 tapos we're using the 18 AWG wires okay latong to available sa shop guys again um, Shopee store Facebook pwede nyo i-message if you want DIY parts or DIY builds or quotation lang ng build mo So, we're using 18AWG, 6-pin, 2, dual 6 plus 2 na splitter. So, wire splitter na rin siya. Kasi yung iba nakikita natin, 6-pin to 8-pin lang. Pwede rin naman yun. Uh, b- pero sa akin, for the same price, why not buy the 6-pin to dual 8? Okay, mas makakatipid ka. And yung mga extra na, na cables mo, you can use for the risers. Okay, so, yun. Um, and... This one is 18AWG naman. So, kung power draw lang ng Ethereum na 3080, which is mga 130, 1, sorry, 230 to 40 watts, kayang-kaya niya yan. Kasi 288 naman yung limit niyan. Okay? So, huwag ka lang mag, ano, huwag mo lang gawin na parang ala 3070 na mag 8-pin splitter ka pa para sa riser. So, baka mas mahirapan naman siya. But, uh, this one it has been running for, um, I think, a couple of days now. 1 to 2 days. Stable naman so far. Hindi pala siya naka-cable management, guys. Kasi, ano to, uh, for ship out outside Manila. So, yun lang. Uh, uh, I-de-disassemble din. Kaya hindi siya kasing pogi ng cable management. Nun. Kung isa. Alright? So, other than that, yung usual natin, non-RGB fans, Ethernet cable, and MSATA for the for the OS, and 009S Plus na riser. So, yun na guys. Uh, yun yung itsura niya. Pag-usapan na natin ngayon kitaan. Compute natin. So, dito lang tayo sa sa dining table. Um, okay. So, wait lang. so, ang cost na itong rig na to ay 65k per card times 4 cards 260,000 plus 50 na lang natin sa system unit. Actually, 49 lang. Pero, sige, sige natin. For example, 50. So, 310. Yan yung cash out mo dyan, guys. Yung apat na card na yan, 72. So, 300, uh, ilan ulit? Wala ako. <laughs> Apat. Times 4. 310. Okay. Yun yung cash out. 310. Ito yung hash rate niya. Then, tapos 28,641 yung kita niya per month. So, 310, 28,641. Pero, uh, ano yung pa natin to? Mag-compute tayo ng bayad sa korente. So, 28,641. So, ito yung wattage niya. Eh? 
Tapos, yung 10.5 na yan, ito yung uh, rate ko sa Ferrari ko. Okay? So, more or less, ang kuryente ng buong rig, <coughs> ang babayanan mo is 7711. Minus yung kita niya na 28641. Kasi ito yung, uh, ito yung bill mo sa kuryente. Okay? Based dun sa rate ko sa Meral ko, which is 10.5 na uh, per kilowatt hour. Okay? So, Kaya naging 7711. Yun yung consumption niya, guys. So, pagka nasa bandang norte ka, mas mura kuryente mo. Uh, mas mura yung, yung babayaran mo, of course. Tapos, pag nasa bandang south ka naman, depende, baka parehas lang or mas mataas. So, uh, be sure to always compute. May detailed na explanation tayo na to, guys. Uh, kinompute ko lang para hindi humama yung video kasi this is, this is for my run tong video na to. But, if you want a detailed explanation ng mga costing na yan, uh, panoorin mo yung 3070 versus 3060 Ti LHR ko. So, dalawang beses ako nag-compute doon para lang maka, uh, magkaroon ka na idea para sa inyo mga yan. Okay, but bottom line, uh, 28641, yan yung kita ng rig at present. Okay? Tapos, ito yung more or less na kuryente ko uh, for one month for that rig at Manila rate, which is 10.5 yung kilowatt hour ko. Okay? So, 20,000... 929 okay 20,929 20,929 20,929 So yan yung uh, yan yung ano guys uh, projected na ROI for these uh, for these cards So yung 3080 na apat uh, 14 months bago ka mag ROI actually uh, Meron, John Mac, but last time nag-compete uh, ng mga 12 plus lang, uh, wala pang 13 months. Kasi guys, uh, you have to bear in mind na syempre, may, number one, may, may power draw din yung system unit mo. Okay? Yung system unit, yung wala yung, wala yung cards. Okay? Number one. Number two, syempre, uh, mas maraming card yung running sa isang system unit, ma, mas ma-offset niya yung, yung cost ng system unit. Nagets mo? So for example, eto, sampung card sa isang system unit. May power draw in system unit, yes. Tapos yung cost niyan, ma-offset kasi mas marami nagmimina ng GPU. So, that's where I was going for. Okay? Yung uh, 12 months natin, more or less, na ROI, na quotation, is uh, for the 6 cards. So, if you upgrade this one, eventually, si Myron, baka mag-upgrade ka, bro. Uh, if you upgrade this one to 6 cards or 8 slot, uh, or sorry, or 8 cards, or you will add other cards like 3080 Ti or even the 3090s, then this number will change naman. Okay? But uh, for me, relatively, pagka nag-usap tayo tapos mga within one year yung ROI, uh, this is actually good for me. Uh, we don't know kung magpa-proof of stake ang Ethereum. Maybe yes, maybe no. It's, it's like parang looking into a crystal ball pagka ganyan. Hindi natin alam kung kailan talaga mangyari. Kasi noong time namin, ang sabi nila, uh, by uh, July daw, by August, 30% pa lang ang kita ng Ethereum. And nakita mo naman, uh, napakalayo sa projected na profit namin. ang actual um, actually ang ang akala ko pa nga doon uh, ang ROI ko is one year pero yun awa na just four months ROI na ako so we, we can't say for sure but uh, we're just doing these calculations number one kasi it's fun <laughs> to predict okay manghula number two is uh, para lang meron tayong uh, reference or guidance when uh, choosing our rig parts or building our rig so maybe this one is good for you maybe gusto mo lang mag in 3 months or 4 months, then maybe mining is not for you. Baka try mo nalang mag-trade or uh, tumalpak sa mga NFTs, which is wala well, namang masama doon. Basta alam mo yung ginagawa mo. Yun lang naman. Don't lose money. Yun lang naman yung para sa akin. Kaya more on conservative approach tayo. Pero this one is not bad for me. Kasi number one, we don't know kung kailan ba yung mangyari. Number two, there are always other coins to mine. Number three, pwede naman ako mag-solar to offset. Okay. A ako lang naman to ah. Uh, just speaking for, from my... Uh, Uh, point of view. Pwede naman ako mag-solar para wala na akong cost ng kuryente. And um, I actually plan to mine even the bear market and yung crypto crash ko magkakaroon man yung crypto winter. So, because uh, I think yung gains talaga is dun sa pag and years and years ng hadel. Um, nandun sa tingin ko yung gains for the crypto. And um, uh, right now, actually, kahit nag-dip na yung Bitcoin from 68,000, uh, hindi ko alam magkano ngayon, 48, 49, maybe. I'm uh, still not selling my coins. So, hadel lang ako. So, I hope this video helps you out. If you did, smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Kung ayaw mo naman yung panood mo, bad trip, pangit ng video, 
Guys, isend mo sa mga taong kagalit mo para mapanood nila tapos mabad trip sila. <laughs> anyway, salamat sa panonood, guys. And uh advance Merry Christmas to all. Jomak here. Peace out.